Uh, well, it's actually uh, an interesting story, I guess. In 1993, I, I used to be a lead singer for a rock band named Big Bad Wolf. Uh, we were an independent, uh, we're in, in fact, we just signed a recording contract on September, of September 22nd of 1993. Uh, we signed a recording contract with an independent label from Cleveland. And um, a few hours later on that night, uh, I had a falling accident, which left me paralyzed from the waist down. Obviously, you know, when I had my accident, my whole life fell apart. I mean, I lost the recording contract, was lost, the band kind of went their own way. Uh, my girlfriend at the time and I had split up. But, um, you know, that all happened right in the same time. I lost, obviously, my day job was lost. So um, talk about having to start life all over. That's literally what I had to do. I had to figure out um, how I'm going to go about in the world and not just make a living, but live a life. Um, you know, you don't, you don't realize what a life-changing and life-altering uh, thing like a paralyzing accident injury is. What I've found that works for me in life is anytime I go through difficult times uh, where I'm not sure, you know, what to do, I go back to the basics. And my basics have always been, I've always been an athlete and a musician growing up. Uh, I was a member of the Vienna Boys Choir in Austria. Uh, I was a Duquesne University uh, classical piano major, voice minor. You know, my background was in music, but I also, I never, th it's kind of funny because I come from a family of musicians, but I never thought of myself as a musician. I was always more interested in being an athlete. So I played sports I played when I was younger were water polo, football, uh, soccer, of course, um, baseball. So that's where I saw myself going. But uh, what happened is when I had my accident, I sort of went back to the basics. I got into powerlifting, and um, I found that to be challenging and exciting. It was something new, and allowed me to find out really how strong physically I can get at the bench press. So I got up to you know bench pressing nearly 400 pounds. Uh, when I weighed about 192, 193 pounds. So I was doing twice my body weight. Marathons, that's something I got involved with a little bit later. Um, I got sick of powerlifting because it just involved eating and not moving. And I just found it to be unhealthy and painful. So I quit powerlifting. Um, and, and then at some point, I got into racing and marathons. I, I had a good friend of mine who I met through the Human Engineering Research Laboratories. His name was Ian, and uh, he was into uh, doing uh, races, wheelchair races. Um, and when we were um, talking, that looked like, it just sounded neat, it sounded fun. And I've never done a marathon. I thought to myself, wow, that's 26.2 miles. Be a challenge, you know? So I, I borrowed a uh, wheelchair from another friend, and uh, I, I tried the Cleveland Marathon back in, I think it was 2006, but I hated the wheelchairs, the, the racers, and I don't, I, you know, I don't know if you know which ones I'm talking about, the ones where you're like pushing like that, you know, you're punching the chair. I despise those things. And I did the New York, or the uh, Cleveland Marathon, and with about 12 miles left, about 10 miles left, I got a flat tire. So I finished the marathon that way, but it was just a disaster. But then I saw this thing, really neat thing uh, called a hand cycle. And I was like, you know what, that's kind of up my alley because you're cycling with, with your hands like this. And I was like, I want one of those. And, and um, so I got, and it was actually the um, Challenged Athletes Foundation who helped me out and got me the, um, the hand cycle. And I had, Ian wrote me, a, wrote a great letter. You know, you had to have sort of, you had to show them that you're an actual athlete, not just some clown who just wants one. So they got me the hand cycle. And ironically, I got it literally the day after the 2009 Pittsburgh Marathon, it appeared, it, it showed up. So obviously I missed that one, but, but then I trained for the 2010 Marathon, and uh, I realized that I'm very fast in those things. I mean, I could pretty much hang with just about anybody on the world uh, level. So uh, I did the uh, Pittsburgh Marathon, and uh, it was a god rainy, ugly day in Pittsburgh, man, it just it started off nice, first 15 minutes were beautiful. From there on out it was just rain, rain, and more rain. I was in a race with a couple of guys who were uh, Paralympic gold winners. You know, so these guys had Paralympic medals, and, uh, but I still won by like over 11 minutes. So uh, I was like, all right, this thing, I like this thing. This is me, I, I feel good in this. 
you know, and I had all these plans to do all these other races, and then the skin breakdown thing happened, and, and for the last 26 months I've been trapped in my room healing these wounds. So that's what I've been doing. But in the meantime, I wrote a book. <laughs> so.